What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here today with a review for Young, Famous, and African Season 1, Episode 1 review, you guys. The episode was titled, Welcome to South Africa. Now, before we go ahead and get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on my channel, I need you guys to do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Stop taking me out on this day and having me pay for it, you know, but do me that favor by subscribing to the channel, turning on your notifications, um, liking the video, and sharing it. And before we get in, and with that out the way, you guys, let's talk about uh, um, Young, Famous, and African. I think that's the name of the, episode, the show. If not, it'll be correct on the screen and in the description. All right, so let's get into it. All right, guys, so first I want to discuss, talk about the cast, introduce us to the cast, right? I'm going to try to find some photos of the cast so that way I can put them on the screen for you guys to see. But the first person that, um, I'm, so the cast is Swanky Jerry. Swanky is one of my favorite people on this show. I love Swanky. Love Swanky. Next is Diamond. Um, Kanye. Annie. Andile. Naked DJ, a.k.a. Quentin. Kaylee. Zari. Nadia. And Kudzi. Is that it? I think that's the whole cast, you guys. I think that is the entire cast. I think. Am I missing anybody? Am I missing any? I don't I, I don't think I am. I think I got everybody. I think I got everybody. It's Swanky and Annie. Swanky, Annie, Andile. Swanky. I'm going to repeat it one more time. Swanky, Diamond, Ganyi, Annie, Andile, Quentin, Kaylee, Zari, Nadia, and Kudzi. We didn't really see a lot of Kudzi and um, Diamond. Or even Nadia. I think that's the entire cast. If I'm not right, leave it, correct, me in the, correct me in the comment section. But um, that's the cast, you guys. So, we are in jo Johannesburg. Oh my God. When I saw Johannesburg, though, that B-roll footage, loved it like i'm like oh my god because i actually do want to go to africa you guys i've been thinking about that for quite some time since i did my ancestry right so i have a lot of ancestry in africa i have i have a lot of i have africa i have ancestry in cam cameroon um that's actually like the highest is cameroon right i think that's how you pronounce it i can't um i can't I think I know I know that's a top 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 I have to look at it again but hey I definitely want to go there immediately so they're showing us that they are not as third world as they you know or as people portray it Maurice from um, Love and Marriage Huntsville right so Kanye and Kudzi they wake up every morning they don't use an alarm like what we use because she thinks she says it's too violent right <laughs> She wakes up to someone playing the piano. I was like, okay. Baby, if you got the money, you got the money. So, Kanye is an actress, a producer, and a life coach, right? Now, people also call her a gold digger, right? Because her baby daddy has money, right? So, he was 31 years older than her. She is now, a, she, she's a self-proclaimed cougar, right? She's 35 years old and Kudzi her boyfriend is 28 years old. I'm like, that's not really a cougar, but okay. If you want to say that, right? Now, both her baby daddy and Kootzy, they have scandals around them, right? Surrounding how they got their money, right? Um, Allegedly, Kootzy stole money. If he stole, you know, he says it ain't true. You guys, Siri just did it again. The bitch just cut my, my phone off. Not my phone, my camera. Um, yeah, Kudzi allegedly stole money. If he did, he did. So, next we met Swanky and Annie. So, they're both from Nigeria. Swanky is Annie's best friend and her stylist. Annie is married. She's married to Two-Face. Um, Two-Face, I can't pronounce this. I can't remember what his no, name was pronounced. She's married to Two-Face, right? Two-Face was her, ev her first everything, her first kiss her first love her first this her first that but she ain't his first she is not his first so annie says that she has been in over 200 movies 
about 50 to 60 series, but people will still say she's just Two-Face's wife. I'm like, ain't that some fucked up shit? You are an established actress, but people still only look at you as Two-Face's wife. Huh. So Annie is in South Africa because Annie wants to expand her career, right? So cool with that. So then we see Kanye. So Kanye is going to be throwing this ball, right? And she wants everyone to meet each other. Um, she wants to show the world that despite the fact that people think that they're a third world country, they're actually a first world country. I mean, I think a lot of us know that, right? That Africa is not this third world country like what they show, especially what they show here on the States, right? When they show them, if you donate a dollar, this will go to you know, X, Y, Z, and you, then you show, and then, and then you see them old mound, and you see those malnourished kids. You know, I always wonder when it comes to those commercials, when they show those malnourished kids and talking about for a dollar a day, you could feed a village of, you could feed a village. I'd be wondering, I'm like, do that money really go to them kids in Africa? And then what part of Africa do y'all go to, right? Because I mean, I, I always knew that, again, like I said, I know, you know, Africa is not a third world country. It's just, certain parts that you go to that you might find that right i'm looking i'm looking around make sure that there are no wasps because because there are some wasps that are flying around it's you know the thing is it's really hot our oh that's a butterfly it's already hot in texas and we're just in march right we're in march and oh god i can only imagine what this summer is going to be like so yeah this summer you guys um I should have an apartment real soon. Baby, this summer I might do videos here and there in the car, but more than likely they're going to be inside all summer long. <laughs> um I'm going to pause here you guys and we're going to move forward. All right you guys, so next up we met Nadia Nikai. I freaking love Nadia. I've been listening to Nadia so Nami I've been listening to her song on repeat. It is so fucking good. Go check it out on YouTube. And I know it is on Apple Music. So go check out Nadia Nakai. I love Nadia. You guys know there's one thing that I do. I have to say this and I have to get it out the way before we move any go forward. Right? And it's not about Nadia. It's about Kanye and Zari who we didn't see in this episode. But we definitely saw Kanye in this episode. And I just at first I was looking at Kanye in her interviews. I love the headdresses that she wore. I love one of the headdresses that Annie wore. I love the African, you know, I love them dressing up. I even love them speaking in their native tongue. I was like, oh my God, I love this. I had to turn the closed caption on so I could watch it, right? I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. But the thing that I don't love so much is the skin bleaching, baby. It's the skin bleaching for me. And then I saw people show photos of what um what um Kanye looked like before her skin bleaching beautiful chocolate skin I was like oh my gosh she was she's gorgeous right why did you touch your skin baby beautiful black woman um so yeah Nadia she met up with um Kanye and they are meeting up at the place where she's gonna have the ball <laughs> Nadia said it looked like the colonizers home she said it looked like the colonizers home so we find out that nadia is dating vic mensa i was like okay girl how is that working that is a i mean that is shut we talk about long distance here in the states different city different state baby he's on a, you're on a whole different continent mm -mm, honey a different continent so um kanye is trying to play matchmaker between Diamond and um, Nadia. Diamond is a superstar from Tanzania. Uh, I need to go listen, listen to some of his music too, right? Diamond is a fucking playboy, right? Diamond tells us, you know, he he, he has two kids in South Africa with his um, ex-girlfriend, Zari. They were together for four years, right? Now, he did tell us he has four kids, right? But it could potentially be five or six kids, right? We gonna get into that later too. I'm like, damn, you don't know what a condom is, huh? You don't know what a condom is, my friend. So I'm going to pause here, you guys, and I'm gonna move forward. All right, you guys. So we then see Swanky and 
Annie, they're talking, right? So they're talking about Nadia. So Swanky is friends with Nadia. He wants to introduce Annie and um, Nadia. So they were talking about her music. So she was like, you know, how do you spell her name? So he said, let me see your phone. When he looked at her phone, she was going through, he was going through her, he looked at her Google search. She was looking up her husband. I'm like, oh, um, Annie. I don't know how y'all are. I don't know how y'all feel about divorce over there in, in Africa, but baby, divorce him. Because if a man is cheating on you, which we'll discuss that a little bit later, if he's cheating on your baby girl, divorce the nigga. That's all I got to say. Divorce that nigga. <laughs> divorce the nigga. So then we are introduced to Quentin, a.k.a. Naked DJ, and his girlfriend, Kaylee. Now, I got a question for y'all. Is Kaylee white or black? What is Kaylee? It doesn't matter, but is she... You know, it's so interesting, right? For the longest time, and this is, I guess this just kind of goes to show the little ignorance that I did have about Africa. Because for years, I always thought Africa was just populated with mostly black people. I didn't think that there was anybody white in Africa until I was in my first year of college, right? And it was my English class. There was this guy that was from Africa, right? And he was white. And we all, we, we, everybody looked at him like, wait a minute, you're from Africa? He said, yes. He's like, there are white people in Africa. We were like, oh my God, we didn't know that. And you guys also have to remember, when I was in, when I started college, hmm, how old was I when I started college? I, was, I had just turned 18 because I graduated the summer of 2007 and I was 17 at the time. So I haven't, been, I, hadn't, I, hadn't, I hadn't, at that time, I've only, I had, I've, and, I, and to this day, I still have only traveled within the U.S., I have not been out of the U.S. yet. I'm ready to go outside of the U.S. now. I really, want, I'm ready to go to Africa. Um, with Quentin and Kaylee, I don't really get much from them. But hey, it is what it is. They give me a little bit of awkward. So we, um, they have Andile over to visit them, right? Kaylee says that Quentin isn't as romantic as he once was when they first started dating. Girl, are you surprised? Once people get comfortable with you. You see the real them. So then, you know, on delay, asked him about kids and about marriage, right? Kaylee says she's not sure she wants kids or marriage, right? But she says that with the, with the right person. And she's like, but Quentin is the right person. I'm like, no, nah, you said it right the first time. You said it right the first time. So um, then we see Nadia. She met up with Swanky and Annie. She liked them. They talked about the um ball that Kanye is having, right? I guess Nadia says that if you didn't get invited, that you're the trashiest of the trashiest. I was like, that's kind of rude, but okay. So we see everyone start to show up at the ball. Everyone looks good. I will say, though, I do hate some of the wigs that the women are wearing. That's all I got to say, just to hate some of the wigs. So we see them. They're all sitting. Now, I will say, because Annie got kind of turned off when um, Kanye started talking about, you know, the money, the wealth. I don't really have an issue with it, so so to sp- I don't have a big issue with it. I mean, shit. I don't have an issue with it. I think where I have an issue with it when people she was now I I guess I guess I guess she was being a little bit braggadocious, but it wasn't oh it wasn't like it wasn't excessive, right? I guess that's the word I want to say. It is, I have an issue with it. I know Annie had an issue with that goddamn steak. <laughs> she had an issue with the steak. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, they talked about Diamond, right? So Diamond talked about him having potentially, he said six, about six kids, right? So he explained the situation. One of them is about he is about ten years old. So it's a situation where he had a one night stand, and I guess that the woman doesn't. <laughs> Oh, God. Not again. Y'all. I can't. I was trying not to burn some air, but we almost done with this video. And then we got Power Book 4. Okay. So the situation is, I guess that the woman doesn't want him around the, around the child. I don't understand why that is. Then he talked about the situation with another woman that he was involved with and she's married and her husband thinks that that is his kid. 
I'm like, now that is fucked up right there. That is fucked up. Um, what else? Then they talked about Annie's daughter, who is 15 years old. She has her own apartment. Now, I want you guys to tell me in the comment section, what do you think about that? Because initially, I was like, absolutely not, right? But then I thought about it. The more I literally sat and thought about it, right? She could, what, the, the things that people are thinking about, the girl could do, the girl can do the same thing, right? If she lives with her mother in the apartment, if you guys are worried about her sneaking boys in or whatnot, she can still do the same thing under her mother's roof, right? Let's be real about that. Um, so tell me what you guys think about that, and we'll discuss it in the comment section below. So then Annie and Andile, they were against it, right? They went and had a conversation to the side. Kanye went and joined them, right? I really feel bad for Annie. I feel bad for Annie. Oh, I forgot to mention about her daughter. So her daughter, um, she has two daughters, Isabel and Olivia. Olivia has blunts. So she's had six surgeries. Um, she, her birthday that she celebrated in January was the first one where she was able to stand up and walk. I was like, wow, that is so sad, right? She called Olivia to check up on Olivia. Olivia was more so worried about her. And she says, are you happy? Because, you know, she doesn't want her to be over there faking. And I was like, oh, that is so sweet. But sad at the same time that the baby know that you be faking stuff, right? So Annie lets us know that her first child with Two-Face was his fourth. Baby, we would have never got married. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Absolutely not. W wouldn't have been me. But hey, that's it, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about um, this episode of Young, Famous, and African. And we'll discuss it in the comment section below. You guys, please subscribe to the channel. Please turn on your notifications. Share the video. And until the next time, you guys, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Remember, wash your hands. Please wear a mask. Socially distance. Be blessed. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.